Okay, so now we're back in Slade, and uh, like we su like we suspected, it's in here, and that's good. I think it looks really good. If you do, like and subscribe. Now we actually need to create the weapon. The sprites are done, so go to File, New and wad archive you could do a zip archive but i think it would be easier if we did wad and we're going to paste these in there and save it to where we want let me create a new folder for it custom whoops custom rocket lawn Sure. That looks. Oh my god. Typos. Law. What is going on? Never mind. That doesn't matter. So. Okay, so we're going to create a new entry, and this is simply going to be a, a marker to separate it from everything else. So, SS star, it has to be named exactly that if it's a weapon. If it's a, if it's just a texture, you'd do P start, but this is a weapon. So, SS end. And then, another document. And as I mentioned earlier, decorate. This is the script containing all the data for the weapon. This is sound info because you can't type in these file names. When it has to play the sound, you have to type in what's on the left. I don't know why that is, but yeah, it is like that. So I'm going to go back here and create a decorate. So in the decorate, to make it easier, first of all, change the text language to ZDoom decorate. It makes it much easier to read because it's less jumbled up, more organized. So act, actor, whoops. This doesn't have to be capitalized. The case really doesn't matter at all in decorate files. We're going to type actor and the name of the weapon. I'm just gonna call it Brutal Launcher. Stay simple. And put a colon and type what this object is. And this is a weapon. So we call it weapon, of course. And also, let me show you one thing. This, I'm gonna type a number after this, but let me show you why, first of all. By opening up Doom Builder showing you what is with the objects. Oh my god. Okay, I'll load it without anything. We don't need anything right now. But, basically when you have an object, it has a... This type here is the it's identification. we have to type in identification for this and being a custom weapon it's an add-on we're not going to replace anything so I'm going to type in a number that I know is not in any of the normal any of the normal weapons that are in doom so 1500 1000 no 15,002 actually three because in my chain gun it was a fifteen thousand and one, actually two, and in my hunting shotgun two videos ago, fifteen thousand one. 
I think I made a weapon before that that was 15,000 but just in case you download a weapon before that and use that number I just started going on a sequence now put a brace and another brace another opening brace and another closing brace the reason we have two of those braces is because what we're gonna put up here now just for the sake of speed I'm gonna go to a w the weapon I already made and copy all this and paste it I'm just gonna explain it from there so this weapon selection order is where it will appear when you press the number in a number there can be multiple weapons so if you press that weapon press that number slot multiple times when will it go to that weapon I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna keep it that way I actually don't even know if that's true to be honest I done something with this and nothing really happened weapon ammo use is how many bullets are used for every shot ammo type clip the ammo type this one's pretty straightforward slot number is where it will be placed and since it's the rocket launcher I'll put it in five slot number five and obviously the pickup message we have to change to you picked up the brutal launcher yeah I don't think we need an obituary for this weapon because the rocket itself has an obituary also we have to change this to rocket let me check the decorate of an older rocket launcher that I made because that's the original decorate for the rocket launcher that's in the original doom so let me just check that quickly whoops okay rocket launcher its ammo type is rocket called rocket ammo and it is important to check because I almost typed in rocket without rocket ammo now this states is what starts these these brackets we're gonna type in red or, oh my god ready I'm gonna type ready and a colon there has to be a colon to define that it's a state then under that let's first of all change the names of these I'll be back for that so bye. so I'm back I just renamed them let me talk about the, some important rules so when you name it it has to be five letters long with the zero at the end it has to be five letters long or to be more five so five letters and one number it has to be that or you'll get some errors now the reason it's so specific about the name length is because of this you're only gonna type in the you're only gonna type in the first four letters god darn it the first four letters so rocket G rocket G over here you're gonna put the A B C, the A right after putting a space, and you're gonna put how long it lasts. Since we're in the ready state, I'm just gonna put one because that's how long it will take for the weapon to be on screen. And then under that, we're gonna type loop. I don't know what loop means to be honest, but you're gonna have to put it there or it won't work. And also I'll be honest, I'm not an expert at making decorate files. You can tell by this tutorial that I'm not an expert at all. But in the next state will be select select. That's when that's pretty straightforward. So when the weapon is selected. Copy it again. I enable caps lock. Okay.
so we have those there. Next important thing are called parameters. So put a space, put an A underscore, and then type weapon ready. Because when you press a key or a mouse button, these states are what are defined these states are what actually happen. These states yeah, I don't know how to reword it. But we have to actually say what happens. The computer doesn't know by itself. So then type for select raise. 